Hey guys, I'm Technicals from Vegas. I made a few videos in the past covering basic and slightly advanced techniques with Toon Link, but now I want to showcase what I've worked on recently. I hope that maybe this video will inspire a few people to hit the lab and push our character to his limits. With that said, let's get right into it. First off is the Dare Jab Lock. This is something I discovered a while back, which at first just looks like a weird way to mess up a footstool combo, but in actuality, it's a phenomenon where the down air is jab locking your opponent after they land on the ground from a footstool. Fortunately enough, this works on the entire cast at the same percent range, and can be done pretty easily. The trick to knowing when this will work is, after the bomb throw into footstool dare, they have to be under 26%. That's the magic number. The confirms vary based on the weight class, seeing as how the wind box will affect each one differently. But primarily, you're going to want to look for grabs, perfect pivot up tilts, and up smash. Obviously, it's not the most practical of techniques to just fiend for at the beginning of a match, but it's good to be aware of in case the opportunity shows itself. Next is the slide cancel. This probably already has a name for it, but I'm honestly too lazy to go looking. So for all intended purposes, I will refer to this as the slide cancel. I've always noticed Meta Knights and Ryus sliding into their tilts and closing the gap at an alarming rate. This movement option is particularly designed to bait an opponent to drop shield and chase, which is precisely why the returning tilt is a great way to act on this conditioning. After spending some time in the lab, I noticed that Toon Link has his own practical applications of this tech, so here's a few you might find interesting. If turnaround F smash isn't really your forte, this should remedy most margins for error. After inputting a slide cancel, you glide slightly into a neutral position where any input is possible. This makes turnaround F smash, running down smash, which we all can agree has very little usage, but you gotta admit, that's really cool. And lastly, of course, all the tilts and jabs, which I'll go into some interesting applications in a second after we look at the individual moves. Up tilt is a great choice for three reasons out of slide canceling. One, up tilt is probably the best combo starter at low percent. Two, it can cross up on shields. And three, up tilt into up air is a kill confirm outside of the normal projectile to insert attack. The risk versus reward is very reasonable and it's a neat trick to save for those opportune moments. The only reason I could see F tilt being used out of slide cancelling is to cover the ledge get up or attempt a possible 2 frame if you're confident. The next possibility out of slide cancelling is down tilt. Now this one I found the most promising. Not only is it a safe poke on shield, but it also has its own true confirms and mix ups. At lower percents, slide cancel down tilt into perfect pivot up tilt is a thing. Around 70%, slide cancel down tilt into grab is actually a confirm. I was surprised when I saw this at first, but this is easily avoidable with DI away. When all things are considered though, most people won't even be ready to DI this option, so it's a cute combo to keep in your pocket. If you don't want to commit to a grab, then up smash works just as well. At the ledge, slide cancel down tilt can confirm into a fair follow up or a 50 50 scenario. Lastly, I'll be covering the technique known as Isaac, which means instant Zare auto cancel. This technique is probably the easiest to find applications all throughout neutral. When performed correctly with an item in hand, it will be Z dropped at the end of his jump squat animation while simultaneously cancelling the following tether, allowing for a diverse option select. Now, time for the breakdown on execution. Isaac can seem like an easy technique when compared to other characters without a tether, but when it comes to characters like Toon Link, you have to be frame perfect, or you could risk receiving a hefty punish. The reason being is that if the timing is only a little off, one of two things will happen. If the inputs are too early, then you'll input a jump cancel throw. If it's too late, you'll jump, Z drop, and still tether, putting you at a frame disadvantage. If you look here, the trick is in the liftoff. Now I'm not expecting you to see the moment Tink's toes rise slightly off the ground, but hopefully watching this in trial and error will give you a basic rhythm to work with. I've noticed in my training that listening to the rhythm of your fingers and the audio cue made from the Z drop are far more receptive than the visual aspect. The input is basic, so timing is everything. With my personal setup, I have Y set to jump and X set to grab, because I don't need two jump buttons and I'm not quite fond of the Z button, but hopefully anyone can adapt this to their setup. First, input jump, 
Then at the end of Toon Link's jump squat animation, input a grab to initiate the Z-drop. These inputs have to be very quick and precise, especially when adding in aerials. Practice this step first and get your rhythm down to a science. That makes the next step much easier. Let's try adding in some aerials into the mix. When you have the basics down, you have the options between a nair, down air, up air, bear, and fair. The easiest and most practical aerial is the nair, because it allows for the most aerial movement and combo potential. To do this, input jump, Z drop, and A to nair. For down air and up air, I'd suggest doing the directional inputs on the C stick. For fair, you can just hold down the direction you're moving in while inputting A. This is of course the opposite when attempting a bear. Isaac nairs in neutral increase the depth of play from just waiting for a throw follow-up to going on the offensive. It can be used to aid retreating with bear, covering the ledge with bear, and sneak in a quick up air, dare, or nair. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. My name's Turtle, the editor for this video, and me and my brother Technicals put in a lot of time and effort to provide some quality information to help advance the Tunic meta. You can follow me at TurtleSSB to see what I'm working on, and me and Technicals are actually involved in an esports team called Sugi Esports, where we help run events, provide VODs, commentary, graphic design, etc. for the Las Vegas Smash Brothers community. So if you want to stay updated on what's going on in our city and our Smash scene, you can shoot us a follow at Sugi Esports and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated on what we're doing and see more guides, skits, like a few we've made already that I'll link in the description, and general Smash 4 content. I hope you guys take the training mode and make our little sailor proud.